Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a bunch of 151-151 packs. I uh, had a Mew Ultra Premium collection uh, floating about uh, that I hadn't done anything with. It was just uh, sat there, so I decided to open it up. And these are the packs from it. I do have a opening of the Mew Premium Collection on the channel already, if you want to go and have a look at it. Uh, so I didn't bother, you know, keeping it sealed and opening it. I've just taken the cards out. And we'll see what we can get. There are still quite a lot of cards that I need from the set. It's probably going to get to the point where I will just um, start buying singles. But I can't help myself opening packs as well. So I do like to try and pull as many as I can from packs before buying the singles. Uh, purely because it feels better. You know, it feels better to pull the card yourself rather than just get a pack or uh, buy the singles on eBay. You know, that's easy. It's easy to go and buy, buy the set, but uh, it's not so easy to pull everything from a pack. But then you get that extra bit of pleasure when you go through your set that you get to see and think, I pulled these, I pulled most of these. So let's see what we can get from 16 packs. We're three down and we've only got holographics so far. So slow start. But let's see what we can get on this one. This will bring us to uh, a quarter of the way down. Tend to crawl once again. We've got a Snorlax. A reverse Geodude into a special illustration Alakazam, which luckily for me is one I need. I'll give you a little look at that, get the shine on it. So that's very good for the collection, one that I don't have. Uh, of course, I don't have the Charizard special illustration. Got the Venusaur and the Blastoise uh, in previous videos. So it looks like annoyingly I would have to buy the most expensive card of the set, which obviously one of the pluses of opening packs is that you can pull the expensive cards without having to shell out uh, however much they could be. Obviously, a single pack is cheaper than buying the card itself. But you never know what we could get with the next. How many is that? One, two, three. So this is six. So we've got ten more after this. You never know what I'm going to get. Still need some of the illustration rares as well. Quite a few of them, I think. So what the hell? We have a second special illustration Alakazam from the same boost uh, from the same premium collection. So I, as I said, I did get these from the same product. These aren't. Uh, packs that have been mixed from other products, you know, um, like the poster thing or things like that. These are all from the same ultra premium collection. So to get two of the same special illustration rare, I don't know if I've seen that before, but let me know if anyone else has seen that in any other videos or if any of you have had that happen to you. And we get a 
regular illustration with the Tangela. Feel like I might have that one, not sure. Um, I mean, normally you'd say two special illustrations would be good. Um, don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining that I've got two. It's a little unfortunate that it's the same one, but I'm not going to complain. Certainly not going to complain. I mean, one of them, we can see if it's worth grading, and then we can put one in the binder and send one off for grading and see how it goes. Uh, we're probably halfway through now. We've got a Machop once again. Rigid band into an Executor, Gravelar, Pidgeot. The middle evolution and a Dragonite with a shiny psychic energy on the end. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven packs to go. Pull the energy off the back. We have a Goldeen into a Weeping Bell, Ghastly, a Paras, Persian, a Muck, Daisy's Help, Clefairy, a Dratini Reverse, and then a Mr. Mime, Uyama's Mr. Mime. Uyama, favourite artist for me. So, always nice to see that. Okay, come on now. We've had a few packs where we have not had any hits. We're probably due for one. We've got a reverse Doug Trio, a Weezin, and a Illustration Rare War Turtle with a lot of print lines on it. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if I can get... There's one by his head. There's one that sort of goes all the way down here. And then there's a few horizontal ones as well. It looks it looks crazy to see that from like looking at it with the eye, with my eyes. It uh very odd printing on that one. Nevertheless, we move on. We five packs left. And we are still hunting whatever we can get. Venomoth, Rapidash, Nidorina, Reverse, Porygon, Seedra, and a Starmie. I do like that Starmie. I do like the way that it's uh, drawn, the art. Very nice. Caterpie. First, I uh, believe that's the first one of the opening into an Eevee, a Antique Dome Fossil, Weedle, Haunter, Hitmonlee, War Turtle, Regular, Reverse Magnemite. Oh, here we go. Oh, we've got a double. Two hits, we've got a Golem EX, which I will put down, and then the Pikachu, which I definitely don't have which uh, is very nice. We've got quite a few other Pokemon in the foreground and the background. A Growlithe, you've got a Butterfree, a Nidoran, male and female. What else have we got? Looks like there's, uh, there's a Blastoise back there, if I can get it to focus. And a Mr. Mime, Slowpoke, a Psyduck, it's like a Gengar down here, Jigglypuff, and then a couple 
pidgeys up in the tree. Is that all? Is that all we've got? I think so. Really nice looking card, actually. Happy, happy with that. Right, we have one more pack. Oh, I didn't sleeve the golem, actually. Let me pop those over there. I'm fairly sure I've got quite a few of them, so not, uh, not going to go in the binder. Oh, we almost passed up a Hitmonchan and a Sea King. Oh, and a Butterfree. We've got a Reverse Dugong, a Drowsy. Oh, and a Full Art Venusaur. And a Shiny Energy on the end. So this is actually looking to be a really good box, actually, in terms of hits. Uh, not sure if I've got this already. Of course, I will check and stick it in the binder. I'm not sure if I've done a binder update for 151 before. Uh, I can't remember. I'll have to go and have a look. Uh, and if I haven't, I will uh, show what I've managed to pull so far on the channel. We've got a Geodude, a Machoke. And then a Dodrio on the end with a Lightning Energy. So we have the final pack. Final pack of 16. One last chance for something good on the back. We have Goldeen, Nidoran Female, a Lapras, Cycling Road. Scyther, I don't think I've seen one of them yet. Radcate, a Growlithe, followed by just a Flareon. So there we go. If we gather all these up for a quick review, what do we get? One, two, three, four, five, seven hits from 16 packs. I'm not really sure about the average, if that's good or not. We start with the Golem EX. A War Turtle illustration. Tangler. A Pikachu. Very happy with that. Full Art Venusaur EX. And then the hits of the box. We have... Two special illustration rare Alakazam EXs. Give a little bit of a shine on those. So there we have it. All in all, not uh, not too shabby. But uh, as always, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video.